Okay, hey YouTube, it's me, CBLX3, and today I'm going to show you how to install Windows XP SP3 on VirtualBox. So let's go ahead and get started with it. Um, obviously, first of all, you're going to open VirtualBox. Click on New. Just going to name it Windows XP SP3. You can really name it anything, but um, so. Uh, you can put anything you want to, but just for an example, I'm going to put 220. Okay, and check that. Um, it's VDI, dynamically allocated. I'm going to make this 12. Create. So now, it's not going to start. So I'm just going to... Wouldn't start anyway, because I hadn't set it up yet. So go ahead and go to settings, right click on your thing that you just created. And I'm going to go to system. And since I'm not using floppy disk, I'm going to uncheck that. And display, I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it um, 20. No, not 120, just 20. You can give it anything you want to, just make sure that it's not like too, way too high. Um, you're going to go to this empty one right here. I'm gonna click on this little disk and choose your drive that you've put your um your CD in or your disk and or if you choose an ISO file um you would burn it to the disk and then use it from there. So I'm just gonna click OK. Now I've set it up. I'm gonna go ahead and start. Well, when I say set it up, I meant the set, I've set up the settings. So now I'm actually going to set up the operating system. Okay, I might as well zoom in on this if I don't know how. Um, yeah, I don't actually know how. Uh, I'm going to minimize that. So it's uh, loading the file, so that'll take a while. And um, so I'll be right back when that is done. Oh, and also I forgot to say this. Um, I will provide you with a ISO file in the description, so you can burn it to your disk, or you can put it on a flash drive, and then choose a drive to use it from there. So yeah, I just had to say that. Okay, so now when it says set up as starting Windows, that means it's oh, basically done. So it's done loading the files now. I'm going to click Enter or choose the one they want to do, and this this will not format. Wait, you're gonna click either. Do not, don't do quick, cause that probably won't work. I've already tested that. It did work, but it doesn't work as well. So just do full right here. And this does not uh, format any of your real hard drives. It just um, formats the real like hard drives you can created for the operating system. So this shouldn't take very long, but I'm gonna go ahead and pause it again. Alright, um, so it's done formatting the hard drive, the virtual hard drive, and it's examining the disk now, should this might take, l okay, well, I guess it's done. I was copying the files, so this will take longer, but it won't take, like, a long time, like it does to install a game, so, again, I'll be right back when that's done. Alright, so that's finished. Well, it's at 99. Okay. And now it's initializing it. Um, so I'm not sure if this, is, this should take a look or not. Oh, okay. So don't press any key. Well, you can boot from CD, but you're, um, you already installed it, so why do that? I'm just gonna wait. And. So now. You install the operating system, and I just gotta set up the operating system. So it's installing Windows, and it's already did those three. Um, 39, it won't actually take that long. It might take maybe 5, 10 minutes. If it does take longer, then you probably have a pretty slow computer. Um, mine's not, mine's not, you wouldn't say slow, but it's not the fastest, so yeah, my old computer was slow. So I guess I'll pause this and watch some vines on my phone. 
Okay, so once that's done, I'm going to ask for your name and organization. So I'm just going to put my name and my organization. It's not real organization I'm putting in. It's just my YouTube channel. Next, computer name. Um, let's, uh, let's leave that as it is. I don't want it. I don't want a password, so I'm not going to do that. And choose my time zone. Whatever it is. There it is. Uh, yeah. Next. And uh, I don't think that'll take very long. Okay, so it just installed, and now it's. I guess it's restarting. So I'm not gonna do that. And let's see what happens. If it did it or not. Okay. Okay, here we go. And I guess it's bigger than expected. Um let's see how this turns out. And yeah. Um It's not giving me a status bar, so I'm not sure how long this is gonna take. There we go. Looks like we have the hidden Windows song in the background. I don't know if you hear that, but. Windows XP. Yeah, I'm here to set up your computer. I just might say you speed it along. Good go. Not right now. They don't support Windows XP anymore, so. Uh. Okay, and um, um, I don't know what to choose, so I guess I'm just to skip it, yeah. Um, no, not at this time. Next, you are new. Friends. I don't want any more users. Okay, finish. Oh, here we go. Looks like we've got Windows XP installed. Let's see. Yep. We got it. I don't care. Okay. So. I'm just gonna let that load real quick. Let it load up some stuff. And yeah, I guess that's good. So yeah, here we are. Windows XP. One of the one of the most best operating systems Windows has ever produced. Um, definitely better than Windows 7 and Windows Vista. Change my picture. You can change your name, change your account type on user. So yeah, hope this helped you. And like I said, I'll provide you with an ISO file that you can burn to your disk or put on a flash drive to choose to install your install your install your Windows XP and so hope this helped and see ya